Well, good afternoon. It's 2.40 here on day 450. For a freak's sake, welcome. Just got back from the camp and we've got a beautiful day out there. It's only 45 degrees. It is supposed to be warmer, uh, but I guess we'll take what we can get. 45 and sunny. We've lost all of the snow as of about noon. Yeah, all of it, not even in the landscaping. So that's good news, but check that out. Full, full San Diego blue up there. Tomorrow's supposed to be 60, which means that will get washed. Okay, so it's just now three o'clock and it's probably gone up a couple degrees, at least I hope it has. But it's still very sunny, so I just talked to Taylor and Kenan and we're gonna end up um, taking a walk around the lake, except I gotta move my pumas, I'm not walking around the lake in those. Um, yeah. Just around Hudson Springs Lake. I apologize, the last two days have been really short, worthless videos, so maybe today I'll be better. It's just beautiful out here. If it were about 10 degrees warmer, I'd pull the car out and wash it, but I don't like washing the car in direct sunlight because it dries so quickly and you got water spots all over the place. So tomorrow's supposed to be 60, as I said, about 10 degrees warmer than 15 than now, and cloudy, which is good to wash the car, so we'll do that then. It definitely feels like spring out here, though. We got a big hawk up there. I can hear birds and uh, it's slowly starting to green up out here. We got a lot of leaves. As I said before, if it would dry out, then I'd just go over it with a mower to pick these leaves up so they don't blow in the landscaping. And we are gonna remulch this year. I said we were last year, but we didn't. So this year we'll do that. I know Colt, whenever you watch this where you are, you're probably six weeks ahead of us. You're in solid 50s and 60s with the occasional 70. Well, now we're, we are in, uh, solid 40s and 50s with the occasional 60s. So the lake helps us in the fall. Usually it helps retain Lake Erie. That is, it helps retain some heat and it kind of hurts us in the spring because it takes us forever to warm up and uh, get to a good point. But this year we've been lucky and it's just so odd. I know I talk about weather too much, but we never really had the ground freeze and that deep, you know, it takes a month to thaw. That never really happened. We never had more than five inches of snow for more than three or four days. And then New York City's, they're even better yet. They haven't really had much snow at all. I remember last year watching Fast Lane Daily, Derek Dees, um, I think that was his VWCC was just completely encased in snow for a couple days and they had several feet. That never happened, so that's awesome this year. Of course he's gonna back in. He's just as bad as me. Yeah. Hi, Ryan. He's doing okay. Hey, actually, he's gotten a lot better. Uh. Yeah, but that is. Uh, it is. It is a little bit wet, but it's a beautiful day still. A little windy. Well, Susan, going around up there. Taylor, how's it going? Great. He's gonna take a photo. He's gonna take a photo, and then we're gonna go get some refreshments because we're celebrating Tuesday. We're forty percent done with this week. Very little scarring so far, gentlemen. Wouldn't you say? I'd agree with that. I would agree with that too. Okay, move, move. <laughs> About three winters ago, we came over here with Kenan, and we went sledding. And that was a bad experience for me. Yeah, you suck at sledding. Shut up! Because I went down on my sled and there's, there was a mound that somebody made out of snow so you could do jumps. Uh, I, I didn't, I don't remember if I saw it and thought, oh, that would be cool, do a jump on it. Or if I didn't see it or if I wasn't paying attention, it was right over here. And I went down and I hit that mound, went like four feet in the air and landed on my ass. My God, that was a bitch. We've also biked down there because it's fun. And see, there's actually still some ice on top of the lake here. But it's breaking up and the sun's out and it's still fitty, so it's melting quick like. 48 degrees out here, it actually feels pretty good. I just had to come out and I still have all my checks from First Merit. And I don't quite know what to do with those. I maybe only used about 10. So I've got the box sitting in there. I think I'm just gonna take it over to the bank and see if they can shred them. Even though the accounts are dead, it still has my name and address and that information on them. So tomorrow I need to go over and deposit what I got from the iPad 2 into my Chase account. And then I need to go over to First Merit and give them those so they can shred them. So I'll do that after school, I think. I could do it in the morning if I get up earlier, but what fun is that? So I've just been cleaning my office up in here and I've 
got <laughs> plenty of these things left. I got those a couple days ago downtown. Those are from Christmas. The old flip, four bumper cases, magazines. And then um, uh, my social teacher, teacher last year found me on Twitter and he's like, hey, cool, stop in my room tomorrow morning. So I stopped in yesterday and I got this 9-11 poster that apparently was at the Cleveland Auto Show that I never saw, so maybe I'll put that somewhere. I don't know. Anyways, it's 11.32. I'm just talking to Kenan, and uh, I'm going to clean out my email and the Watch Later playlist shortly, and that's going to be it for today. Already it's almost Wednesday. Eight days. Eight days to go. And today's day 450, so that's cool. Thanks for that. There's my reflection. And I will talk to you tomorrow, 451, Wednesday, March 7th, the iPad day. Oh, that's right. It's the iPad day. Freaking right to this. Talk to you tomorrow.